Well, welcome to uh, lesson number five. Welcome back, everybody. And hopefully everyone has had time to practice, because practice and practice makes perfect. If you don't practice, it just probably won't happen. But I know some of you are really getting into learning all the letters. I heard from one person today. He knows all the letters of the alphabet. And I think... Overachiever. Overachiever. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's doing three lessons a week of Morse code. Three a week. So he's pulling his hair out as well, you know, and mine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, we are, we've, we've covered one, two, three, and four. And we, um, the lesson today is going to be adding B, F, 9, and question mark. And um, we'll get the same standard profile and, or format as we've been doing, except I'm going to change things around a little bit. We start in here with the B, F, 9, and question mark. Does anyone remember what a B is? Great. What's the F? Okay. 9? Yeah, and a question mark. Yep, that's perfect. So you know them off by heart, as it were, as we used to say. I'm going to just send them at 20 words a minute and 15 and see how we do. Uh, I've got them pre-programmed, luckily. Everybody got those? Did you get all the B's and five F's, five G's, and five question marks? Now, for those that. Wait, wait, that's five nines. Five nines. Uh -huh. I didn't, I mean, I've got the numbers later. Yeah. Now, I was going to repeat it again at 15 words a minute for those that I know are not quite getting it. Because I know there's one or two in the class who are struggling a little bit, and I think it's only fair to give them the opportunity to listen to it slightly slower.
Everyone got all those? Got some numbers in there this time? So there should have been Bs, Fs, nine, and question marks. Great. Well done. So we're going to do the same with the letters that we already know. And this time I've um, mixed them all up into all kinds of things. See what we get. I'm even going to write them down as well, maybe. Anyone get that? Now is the time to something. Now is the time to go. Uh, yeah. Dad. I didn't get the space. Didn't get the space? Between go and dad, I didn't get the space. Okay. <laughs> See how we do with the next one. That is correct. You notice I'm actually using real sentences and or at least trying to put real words together for you now. Believe it or not, all the letters and things you're learning, um, you can, you've got a combination of over 6,600 and something words that you can make with those letters now. I, I didn't bring them all tonight to send, but we, 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 do, we do have them all available to us. I've made three sheets in. I'll send these to you all in email um, to, to, you know, to practice, but I'll be sending some of those later this evening. Um, but most of it is uh, a lot easier to understand now that I can actually put proper words together for you. Let's try another one. Anyone get that one? That's, uh, hug one another right now. Hug one another right now. It used to be a favorite song of mine, I think. Hold Long. people down, smiling, that song. Yeah, I think that's the one. The yard, the yard roots, love is but. And here we go again. Doug is in. That's correct. Ken is out, Doug is in.
And here we go, a little bit. Simon? That's correct. Visit work with Simon. Does it, does it work? Is that what it is? Visit. Visit. Yeah. Victor India Sierra India Tango. Are you going to work? Did it da da did it? Question mark. <laughs> we could put a question mark after it, but I, I decided to uh, <laughs> not do that to you right now. What do you think? Back to you. Well, that would be a, a typical kind of a ham conversation over the air. Uh, yeah, and I used abbreviations like HW, how, how is my report. The, you haven't really done the P, but you might should have got the R and a space and a T. And your report is RST 5NN, 5NN, thanks. Old man, back to you, BTU. So you'll, you'll get a lot of that uh, over the air as you. So when you're writing the Morse down, like I've said before, try not to think too hard, just write down what you hear. Because that's, that's the goal. That's the, if you write down what you hear, it might not seem right to you, but when you actually go back to reading it, it will probably make sense. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. You'd think shutting my brain off would be easy. <laughs> <laughs>
wrong one, sorry. Try that again. So there's definitely a space, but the, um, the computer put a bit of a larger space between the I and the S than I like, but I'm kind of stuck with what the computer do, does there, but I'd have, I'd have sent that a little bit differently. So you, it would have sounded a little bit different, but the computer is fixed in its ways and I haven't been able to figure out how to compromise with it yet. No, I'll bring a big hammer next time. <laughs> so we'll start this one again and see how you do with this one. So I played it back twice there for you to, <coughs> so you can kind of listen to it. And At the end of BK, like break? Yes, <coughs> BK was. Cut, I mean, yeah. cut that much. Yeah. Anyone want to read out what was? FB was the first one. Fine business, Don. Thanks for the report. My QTH is in Greer, South Carolina break. And I used abbreviations a little bit. FB was for fine business. I used TKS for thanks. Sometimes you'll hear ham radio operators send TNX for thanks. Uh, it all depends on the operator. And I put four and I just use FR. Some people will use other abbreviations. But usually people will find, I can, they can understand the abbreviations very well. QTH, what is QTH? Location, my Luke, the location is Greer, South Carolina break. So these are the kind of things you'll hear a lot more of. Uh, later in today, um, I've got a QSO between James and myself uh, pre-recorded as well, which we'll listen to as well. Um, so you'll have fun with that one too. But I've broken it up into steps, stages, so we, we can also talk a bit about what is a QSO for those that are not quite sure what a QSO is. Hopefully it's making, starting to make some sense. And I'm using the letters we, we have learned, except for the odd one, which like the letter P. That's the P. 
which you, if you didn't get it, then you should have had a space. This last one said, fine business, F-B-O-O-M, old man, thanks, yes. for F-R, and what was the next one? Uh, it was the report. Oh, RPT. Okay. RPT. My QTH is Greer, South Carolina, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. And uh, luckily you don't have any QRN and noise and uh, all kinds of QSB or anything on the signals. I've learned that uh, if you're halfway between Greer and Greenville, and you want to do a QTH, don't say Greenville because it's too long. Mm -hmm. Greer, it's shorter. <laughs> uh, it's like what I sent easily instead of Dakersville. <laughs> yeah, could abbreviate that E-Z-L-Y. Yeah. So here we go again. Somebody said they would like to hear some numbers. <laughs> yeah. 10, Scott. 10, 10, 25, Yep. Yeah, I think that was about right. The last one was 850112, yeah. The one before that was 110528. And you got everything else. I think you said them all correct. 100%, great. You did ask for numbers. You got numbers. I'm writing them down with you, so I'm, I'm making sure the computer doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. So the, <laughs> let's see what this one, I can't remember what it is, to be honest. I just put them all together and thought, why not? So, anyone noticed any difference with that one? A little slower. It's down slower, so yeah. it makes it a little bit easier to copy when it's slower. But you'll find eventually, if it goes too slow, you're making just as many mistakes going too slow than it would be going too fast. Anyone like to read those back, the numbers? I'll try it. 102581. Yep. 018251. Yep. One one zero five two eight eight five zero one one two. Correct. And it's a hundred percent correct there. 
course, I, I, I change the spacings around a little bit so that it's not quite the same, but well done. Well, it's uh, time to think about the QSO. And before we get to the QSO, I'll just send these other two. All right, are we ready? So, there were some long words there, but uh, anyone like to, there's five words. Embarkation, birth name, baritone, birth name, breakfast. 100% copy. Well done. What was that? Embarkations and what? Embarkations, birth names, baritones, birth name, breakfast. And the, that was to get you to think, because uh, not all letters are going to be short, not, you know, words are going to be short. You're going to get words which can be long, and that's, this is to give you an idea what it that sounds like. You, you, you get tired halfway through, and you, then you start making a mistake. Germans should really have a problem. Hmm? See, Germans should really have a problem when they stack their letters yep, together. Yeah, that's right. We'll try another one, see how you do on that one. See. I can't give you a hint because I don't remember what I actually did, so you're okay. <laughs> Would you like me to send that one again? Or anyone get it? <coughs> Knife and board were two of the words in there. Knife and board. Bound boundaries, breakdowns. Boundaries, breakdowns, correct. 
knife board. And the last word. Submarined. Submarined. I just threw those out there so you get an idea of longer words. That's why you can have 6,600 and something words because you can make them longer. Now the next one is a QSO. How many of you, you've had QSOs and most of you, all of you have had QSOs, right? No? Yes? Not CW. Not CW. Not CW, but you know what a QSO is. Yeah. And you go on, on the air, you, what's, what's the first thing you're going to do? CQ. 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 So you're going to send CQ, 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 this is, and your call signs. So the first QSO number one, you, it's already give, given away what that's going to be. And then you, when you're talking to the other people or, or the other person, you're going to share information, correct? About usually QTH and what is it, the report and weather or whatever. So this is a short QSO between James and myself and um, see how we make out. Um, I can't remember what it was all about, but we'll soon find out. So that was the beginning of the QSO. Oops, just a sec. Let's just stop that for a second. So that was the beginning of the QSO. Oh, there's some of the words that you can have, by the way. You see all those lovely words? I decided not to send them all to you tonight. <laughs> no, I thought you'd appreciate that. So you can have lots and lots of words. So the first QSO part section there, how did you do with that? CQ, 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 D, and then uh, KN4, GB. KN4, GB, KN4, GB, K. Yeah, so that, that's usually how you're going to start off calling CQ, even with uh, CW. It's a typical way to start a QSO, or at least you're calling all stations at that point. Now, I think I messed up the... Um, see, we'll see if we can go on go to the second part. Okay. Just bear with me, I'll try and get back to where we were.
So what happened at the end of that part of the code? Did you get what was going on? He was replying to you. Correct. James James was replying to me. He's K N zero M E S. Yeah. He's replying and get K at the end. That's correct. So he he's now re replied to me and I, he's wondering did did I receive it or not? And if I got it, I'm now would return my return a call back to him. So what so what was I got, I got some of it. I didn't get all of it. Can you read back the QSO2 to me? That you yeah. Read? What, what uh, I started with was CQ, 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 yeah. DE, yeah. KN, 4GB, three times, and then I sent K. Right. And then what James would have come back to me was KN, 4GB. He may, I may have sent it two or three times. He may have not. And then he, he sent DE, and then he sent his call sign, KN, 0 MES, okay. twice, and then a K. So he was responding to my CQ call. Okay. And now the airwaves gone quiet. Yes? What does the K at the end mean? The K is basically he's finished sending. And it's kind of a, it's a unwritten thing saying it's an invitation for me to reply back to him. And I will start sending back to him. That's what should happen next. Are we ready? No, that's not supposed to do that. Hold on. Sent this. I start the wrong one. Here we go. This one. I think that got slightly corrupted that. Let me just see if I can replay that. So that part of the QSO was my response without all the call signs and everything being sent. Does anyone get that part of it? Your, your RST is in there somewhere in the name, the code name. But, uh, I have thanks for call, double dash, you are RST 479, double dash, QTH, Easley, South Carolina, 
or SC double dash name Melbourne. Yeah, so that's that's what what uh, I send. It's basically TNX thanks f for FER call break you, you, your RST four seven nine break QTH easily South Carolina. I sent BT actually, um, and then name Melvin break. So that, that's basically what, what came across. Hopefully that's what most of you got. And that's, you'll, see, you'll hear that a lot on the air. And the next part of the QSO, hopefully it'll come out a little bit easier. Okay. So that was. Did anyone get that part of the QSO? So how copy? Yeah. Roger, Roger, fine business. Okay. Melvin, <coughs> BT, or I call it a double dash, I don't know. Um, your, you are, RST, 5NN, double dash, QTH, travelers? That's correct. And it's okay, double dash is fine. That's what I'm actually writing down on my sheet, double dash. Which you, you can take a look. I'm, I'm actually copying it at the same time as you are. Good, we've got t two little parts of this and then we'll probably take a break. And here we go. So well, that's near the end of the QSO now. How did we do? Well, the end of his name, James. I didn't get. <clears throat> I was paying attention right before Traveler's Rest. 
Uh, my QTH Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, double James, dash. James, double dash. So how James, I believe, how me James, I think I put in there. How, and then Emmy James, double dash. What's the double dash again? What is the double it's, dash? Just, it's just a way of breaking up the sentence as, I'm, as he's sending it along. What's it sound like though? It's a guidebook. It's a pro sign. It's a pro sign. It's, it's a pro together. sign okay. BT. I call it BT. Um, it, I write it as a double dash, an equal sign. But it it's, sounds like BT. Slow it down a bit. And this is the last part of the QSO. Well, it's you're going to you're going to get more of the pro sounds. These you're going to like the question mark and others. But you, you know you've probably heard. Um, on the air. The KN. Is what? Do you remember? KN, yeah. That's, and that's usually sent at the end of uh, QSO when you're finished completely at the end of the... And then that, that opens the airways. If someone wants to call in to call you, they know that you're free to listen. So you're listening at that time. What's the difference between that and SK? Because when I've done PSK31, I've seen folks do KN and also SK. So I know... They're two, do they mean different things? They do, they do mean slightly different things. And I, can, I can't remember exactly myself without looking that one up. Between the side, the side of the key means you're going off the radio completely? Uh, SK could be, I'm shutting my, uh, shutting down for the evening. Okay. But KN means I, I'm, I finished the okay. QSO with that individual. And the other one you're talking about is SK. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Gary's going to confirm yeah, that. Yeah, KN is actually, you're coming back only to a specific station. Correct. Um, and um, uh, SK is the end of transmission, end of work. End closing of work. Closing down. Yeah, closing that's, down. that's SK is closing down. KN is, I finished with the QSO with James at that time. And AR is the end of message. And if you have this little blue book, it's on page 19. Yeah. <laughs> and we're almost finished, I think. Let's just check what the QSO number five is. Are we ready? And then we'll have a break. This is all new to you all, and it can be frustrating, especially because I've split it up into sections here. It makes it more, a little bit more difficult. So that was um, the end of the QSO with James. And basically, uh, anyone want to read back what you got? There's a number in there. You hear it nearly at the end of every QSO. 73s. 73s for now, James. And then a call sign, KNO, KN0MES, DKN4GB. And I didn't bother 
going at the end. But that gives you an idea of a basic QSO. It's very basic. Sometimes you'll have uh, ham radio operators talking about their rigs, their antennas, their, the weather, and um, exchanging all that kind of thing over the air in CW. So you, you'll hear that when they tell you, they'll tell you what their rig is, and then if it's got a long number after it, like 2000B or something, you, you write down all the numbers, and then they'll tell you what their antenna is, and it could be 132 feet end fed wire, and you have to write all that down. So it can get quite tricky. And this is just a very basic outline of what a QSO can be like. So let's see. I think we're almost to the end of uh, this, set, this part of the session and we'll have a break. There's an O to CW. And I think I just put a few simple things here for us. We'll listen to that one when we get back after break. That's, that's a, a good warm-up sending, sending that one. And this is another one that I used to use. The first one was Ben's Bent. I'll have to write it down, but <laughs> Ben's, it's Ben's Best Bent Wire. And the, the, the last one I just sent there was, uh, she is, I think I put it, is her sister's sister, but I'll write it down after. I just was copying in my head. But that, those are two warm-ups. At least you're copying somewhere. <laughs> Pardon? At least you're copying something. Right? Oh, yes. So when we get back after break, we'll start mixing it up a little bit. We've got a few more letters here. Do some live practice. So we'll have a break. 10 minutes or five minutes? 10 minutes is good, but I think everybody needs a break. Good to go. Are we ready? I'll go, I'm going to start some of the letters and words that we already know and um, introduce you to some of the newer letters as well. And I'm going to ask if anyone wants to come up and send in a short while. But here we go. Um, see what we get. Dive, dive, dive. That's for those people that know how to dive. <laughs> and Weaving as it was.
saw waves shoot in? Ken saw waves shoot in. We have time. Read verse 15 to me, correct. Shout out, Kurt. Oh, you like this one. I, I, I feel like I should have one of these right now. I could do with one right now and a cup of coffee. <laughs> read that, read that back now, please. Dunkin' Donut is tasty. T E E. I'll go a little bit slower, see if you get this. It is round. upon a star. Grain is good. Oh, 
have a heart Greta. What was that again? Have a heart Greta. String instruments are great. Shut that door. I'm getting a lot of um, Vs for your H. A lot of Ds? I, I copy a lot of V. Vs? Oh, okay. For your H. That's good. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That was a V. Give the gun to Dave. Anyone would like to have a go at sending? Tonight. Anyone? I'll try it. Okay, come on. Yes, you can use your own hardware. <laughs> Is it ISO approved? That's this little, uh, it's a, uh, a 3D printed key that I bought for uh, doing uh, soda stuff. Where do we get these from, Larry? CW keys? Something like that? Yes, yeah, CW keys. CW keys. Okay. There we go. May I move this? Yeah, yeah. Just don't drop it. It might break your foot. Yeah, I You'll hear me scream. <laughs> yeah. Where would you like to start? You can choose any words you like. Oh. Look much more chill this thing. Can you try this one? Sure. If I... I'll stand over here and... No heavy object, please. How about practice a couple of things first? Okay. It's pretty light, isn't it? Yeah, it's, light. Okay. it's a light-touch key.
mess it up. Do eight dots. Eight dots. Try that again. going if you like. Oh. Take a few more. if any how people are receiving it. So the last thing that was sent, and it, would anyone like to read that out? Anybody get that one? Last word was, was graves. Graves, yes. Sound? It was supposed to be mound. Oh, mound, okay. Now the word before that was vast, then C, two, aghast, is he. So it was, he is aghast to see vast mound graves. That's a mouthful, isn't it? It is indeed. <laughs> yeah. So. Did you want to have a go at some numbers? Sure, I'll do that. Here's a few numbers for you and a couple of letters here and there. I know this because it's in my call sign. So. Yeah. Everybody ready? Let's read it back to everybody. Did, did anyone get any of that? A uh, bunch of eights, yeah. There was uh, six eights spread out a little bit. Then RU18. Then 81 miles to go. Get going. Granny is 82. Or Gran is 82. Anybody get all that? Because if you did, you can come up and send some more. Was it, was it coming across? At all? Well, how did you find? Did you find it all running together, or? Yeah, I would think think words and spaces. Think send a word, then break. Send a word, break. Send a word. I mean, pause. I mean, just kind of get into the rhythm of word, pause, word. Pause. It's one of these situations where I thought I was doing it, but I probably wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but. You're doing fine. It, 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 the letters are good. Okay. It's just the spacing. spacing. Just okay. the spacing. Just right. focus on the spacing. Okay. And the, it'll, it'll sound 100 times better. Okay. Uh, try Melvin's key, just for grins. Oops, that's the wrong one. <clears throat> no, that was the wrong one. <laughs> who's this, who's this? We've got them all tangled up right now.
fingers never leave my hands, right? There we go. No, the key was shorted out. Oh, was it? Yeah. Takes a little more push to it, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see here. We haven't done this one yet, have we? I don't think so. No. It takes a little getting used to. It takes a little getting used to, and you've, your spacing still needs focus work. Okay. And also, the, I'll give the dashes a little bit more time and a little bit more space between characters. Okay. It's, it kind of is all running together. I don't know if anyone else is getting that, but it's, it's difficult for to decode it. Okay. No, that's... Thank it's you for telling me that. It's difficult I, to decode it. I only listen to myself. See, if I wasn't reading it over your shoulder, I would have had trouble reading it. Okay. But I'll send it back to you in a couple of seconds. There Anybody else wants to have a go at sending? Thanks, Robert. You're welcome. I'll send you the same one back to you at the same speed you just sent it. <laughs> I'll just check the key first. No, you didn't break it. It's just... It's touchy. I think that'll work. We'll send the same letters back. Are we ready? Get that one? Great King ruled some here. Here. 500 months ago. Yep. yep. Cool. Well done. And that's, it's just the spacing of the characters and the spacing of the words. It takes a little bit of thinking, a little bit of practice. But your sending was very good. It was very fast. You might want to try and slow it down just a little bit. Because you'll find sending comes easier, usually than actually receiving. And it, it, if you send a, to me on the over the air that speed, I would send back the same speed. And I don't think we'd have a good conversation over the air. No. Well, no, because this is, this is helpful. Hands on table, right? This is helpful because when I'm doing it, when I'm listening to it at the house, in a pair of earphones that I have plugged into this, I don't have that second perspective. Right. So this is, t this is helpful. So as soon as you get on the air with the CW, whatever you send out or speed you send out, be, a, be ready to s someone to send it back the same. If not, it's maybe one word, word faster, but they don't normally send it back slower. If you, if, you, if you send 20 words a minute, get ready for 20 words a minute. QRS. Q QRS, Queen Romeo Sierra? Yeah. 
And, and Robert, uh, when you were sending with Melvin's key, I was able to copy you, although I got great dings rule here 500 months ago. So um, if, if there was a noticeable difference between the two keys for me okay. in copying. Wow. So you, you know. And I was having first time jitters too. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's cool. When you get on the air the first time for CW, you'll also have the jitters. So just, be, oh, just, big just time. big time. And, and my advice is send slowly and people will be courteous and they'll send slowly back to you. So next week, whoops, we're going to PC, Q, and 3 for next week. We're almost out of space uh, time this week. And P, C, Q, and 3. Everyone know what the P is these now? Did da, 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 C, Q, and 3. Yeah, so you, you've already got most of those 73s, right? 7s and 3s. C, Q, and the P. And it'll sound something like this if I did it right. No guarantees. So that sounds what good to everybody. Any anyone got any questions before we wrap it up for the evening? So if you are asked to slow down, what's the speed up? Um, what's the speed up? I don't remember that one off the top of my head, James. QRQ. 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 I never ask anyone to speed up. I always ask them to slow down. <laughs> So, if, if, you've, if you've got to ask someone to speed up, that means you're really good. And you have a great evening, everyone, and thanks for coming. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Daddy da 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 What do you hear over the air? CQ serenade. So you don't know just what it means. Dust your shoes off, shake out your jeans. Get on your feet, jump to the beat of CQ serenade.